Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Hold on. I gotta move something. Hold. Hold up. Hold up. Hello. Chat still parchment. Your mom's still parchment. Let's see. Give me a moment. Sus. Simple button will remove that. I can't believe you've killed everybody with that. <laughs> it caused a mass murder. Oh, yeah, who did that? What was that? <laughs> well, what was that? I mean, I know what it was, but nothing popped up. Did I miss it? It should have popped up. But hello everyone. How are you guys this morning, this afternoon, this evening? I don't know where you are. I'm assuming morning for most people. Unless I got some Europeans. And then in that case, uh, it's afternoon, I believe, for you guys. Not great, but I'm just waking up. I feel that. I'm not. And someone was in the chat was like, ah, oh, V must be sleepy because um, her thing is the same. And you're right, I am sleepy and I totally forgot to change that one part. Although I notice a lot of people just keep that the same. Like, they don't really, they don't change that regularly, which, I don't know, I guess is, I guess it's not that weird. I just thought it was, hold on a second. I want to, like, be bigger, but I don't want to be, do you guys like me better like this? <laughs> do you like my face, or do you like seeing the tummy? What do you guys like? I can just be large. It is midnight for me. Okay, okay, okay. So it is evening. So many factory doggos. I'm so scared of the factory. You want me to stand farther back? Let me go back. Dang. You guys. Whoa. Hello. If I can go farther back, you guys. Here, I'll just go. I'll hang out by the fire. If you guys really want me to. There we go. And hold it. There we go. And step. Step. I do it like this, I think. There we go. Step. YouTubers have legs? I know. No, I do. I have two of them. That's not what I want. I want this. It's true. I have two. I can go over here. I can even go... I can go up here. Is that better? Chat's in the way, but I'm back here. Looks like you're doing the tragic here. I'll stand over here so you guys can see me. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. I thought we'd just do a morning chat. We've been doing a lot of morning chats lately, so I just thought that maybe um, it would be fun to do a morning chat again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have like a whole lot to to chat. I mean, I do, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to be a complainer. I'm trying not to whine. <laughs> I have issues. I have problems again. I always have problems. Just like my streak. Let's go, Caboose. Yuri. <laughs> oh, do you guys have nice things happening in your lives? I hope you do. I really hope that at least someone's having a good time. I am not. No, damn. Curses! Got tax return. Big wins here. Let's go. Ice mosquitoes. That's not great. Tax returns are good. We like tax returns. We like getting free money. Well, ara, free. Ara. Hoppa, thank you for the tier 1 resub and thank you for 42 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Too bad it's red dollars this year. What does that mean? Red dollars? Still trying to figure out my apartment stuff and it's a pain. Oh yeah, are, we, are you the one that your house is falling apart? Is that you? You guys are all, you guys all have similar names again, so I get you guys mixed up. I don't know who is what. That is me. Yes, okay. I forgot W4 shenanigans I pulled and did an oops. Oh, he has to pay for his shenanigans. Red is negatives. Oh, no. That's not a tax return. 
That's a tax goodbye. That's a tax going away. <laughs> It's never good. I do small business stuff now with all this, so I don't get tax returns anymore. <laughs> I have to pay in. I always pay in. They go bye bye. Am I getting the most tax back out of anyone I work with? Do you have many children, Goose? It would make sense. Geese tend to procreate yearly. Unless you're like that sad, lonely goose. Do geese mate for life? I heard that geese mate for life. I wish, but no. Oh, no. He has many goslings. Many Ryan goslings under his nest. It's true. Geese do poop a lot. Do my student debt till I die, and that comes out of my tax in Australia. Oh. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so you technically... Okay, that makes sense. You technically have to... <laughs> Hey, for school then. Shoot! <laughs> oh no, I got shugle. Shug, shug, leoth, shugliath, shugliath. Right? Is that right? Thank you. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. I I, I knew I'd get there. Shugliath. Okay. I knew I'd get there eventually. Hello, Dev. Look, it just takes a little bit, okay? You just gotta give me a minute and I will get there. <laughs> it's really hard. If you guys haven't streamed trying to read um, names off quickly, especially while you're trying to do something else, it's it's not easy. <laughs> I literally heard the gears moving, it's true. It's really, I always feel bad when I'm like playing games and someone with like a crazy name comes up and I'm like, <gasps> Don't worry, I just got the stream announcement. Let's go. Let's go stream announcement. I love how Twitch is like, you have to have 75 concurrent viewers, average, right, to, to be a partner. However, we're going to not send any things out until the stream is half done. So that way your average is messed up because you're missing half your followers. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know you're streaming. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sith. Hello, hello. I'm at the Discord one. Well, that's that's on you then. That's your problem. I sent it before the stream started. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should be more active in the Discord, huh? 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 If you guys want up-to-date active stream announcements, please join my Discord. <laughs> I ping everyone every time I stream. Every team. Like other VTubers. I'm just like other VTubers for real, for real. Bought a big thing of Starbucks K Cups, man. They're delicious. I was talking about ass jets just this week. Yeah? <laughs> I have to back off on my Starbucks. I got my bill back. I got my bill back for my nose thing, and that was incredibly expensive. And then I was at the dentist yesterday just doing my normal dentist checkup crap, and I got like three small, they're very tiny, but they're very, but they're there, three small cavities. And for some reason, small cavities are like $1,000 to fix, and I have no idea why. So that's painful. So I'm like broke as a goat. Broke as a joke? Is that, was it? Oh, God, it took my chat away after subscribe. It's supposed to be pronounced... Shug, shuckle, shuggle, and oath like hoth. Shuggle off. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Could be worse. It could be YouTube's notification system, which may or may not actually tell anyone. I know. It's really sad when I send out shorts and, like, no one ever gets notified. <laughs> so it's got, like, it's got, like, three views on it. It's been making me sad. Like, a thousand each? No, it's, like, a thousand total. Um, it's, it's actually over a thousand. It's like 1500 or something. No, it's more than that. I don't know. So basically my insurance, as wonderful as it is, only covers like a thousand dollars of it. And then I have to, I have to pay for the rest. So it, out of pocket, it ends up being like 700 bucks for me. You know, you could replace your teeth, right? I cannot replace my teeth. 
Damn whole car. I know. And they're small. He's like, he's like the dentist. Like, oh, yeah, these are tiny. Like, we caught them way early. This will be like super quick. Like, there's no like significant damage. They're just surface things like blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, good. That'll be like pretty cheap then because it's not that big of a deal. And then they give me like the bill and they're like, here's the estimate. Give me your kidney. And I was like, the, 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 the. They're literally in the ground. You can just take them. They have to get to death. That is horrifying. I'm going to have nightmares about that. I haven't been to the dentist since I was in high school. You should probably go to the dentist. <laughs> you probably should. As much as I hate giving the dentist money, they actually do fix your teeth. Three fillings and it cost me $43. My insurance covers them. Well, ain't that just peachy. Who do you work for? I need to work for them. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my insurance on every front just fucking blows, dude. Charlie, yeah, pro. Dental at the hospital is free. Con, they love their pliers. That's horrifying. Yeah. So a lot of the a lot of the stuff I thought were cavities was just like, I don't know, they call them surface stains. So then I'm gonna get my teeth cleaned again and apparently those will all come out. And then I still have to get the little tiny cavities filled, which is gonna put me I don't know, I don't know. I'm unemployed. I got laid off back in February. No! Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm sorry you lost your job, but your insurance, your jobless insurance is better than mine? What the fuck? What the fuck? I need to quit my job and be a VTuber full-time. Apparently, that's the way to go. <laughs> Apparently, that's the way to do it. The best purchase of your life is a jeweler file for your tooth pokies? No, that sounds horrifying. My employer insurance was carried over for two months. Oh. Work for a VTuber agency? I don't think that they get benefits. I'm going to just guess based on the fact that they're contractors. I got a fairly nice severance. Well, that's at least that softens the blow a little bit. It does suck getting laid off, though. I understand. I was laid off once. I didn't, I didn't, like, I was, I didn't end up jobless. I didn't end up taking the, the severance. I had to, I ended up taking the, the job I have now, which is not great. But, you know, my severance was not fairly nice. <laughs> I'd rather be laid on than laid off. Yeah. Laid on by what, though? That's, that's the real question. That would matter to me. I would need to know what I'm getting laid on by. Like, what is laying on me? <laughs> if it's like a pillow, I'm okay with that. Ramen probably. He is kind of vicious, right? With When he lays on you. Because, like, so Ramen's weird. Like, he's a mutant, right? So, like, what, when he, like, makes biscuits, you know, with his paws, like, his back leg will come up. And then he's got, like, and he can't retract his claws, right? So when he makes biscuits, it's all claws are in. So he's doing that. And then, like, his back leg is coming up. Right? And then it's, like, up in the air, like, straight up. And he's, like, making biscuits. And then he also, like, suckles. It's gross. <laughs> he's a mess. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to be laid on by... Yeah, I'm not even going to finish reading that. <laughs> Did I make it for once? You did make it. Can I just say when someone says a, make, a cat makes biscuits, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. It kind of freaks me out, too. I don't really like the term, but I don't have, like, a better term to replace it with. Like, I don't have, I don't have anything better. <laughs> Needs? Needs his paws? Is that where, that doesn't come off the tongue quite as well. So making biscuits, I thought men pooping. No, no, no. He poops in the basement now where he belongs, like the other sewer dwellers. It wouldn't surprise me if he was like a skaven in like a cat suit. <laughs> it, would, it would actually, I would, it would actually make a lot of sense. My old cat used to only make biscuits on a rug my grandmother made and nowhere else. Oh my God. He missed grandmama. Cats, man. 
My ex called it tenderizing. Yeah, I can see that. Ramen definitely feels like he's tenderizing you. Oh, and then like he'll want to get like way up in your face. Like he wants his nose touching your nose. And he sticks your claws, his claws in like that little like crook in your neck. Like you know how like where your your um, collarbone comes together and like your neck meets that little like divot. Like he will stick his claws right in that soft spot right there. And he will just go at you. It's the worst. In one spot so much he would leave hair dust bunnies there. Oh my god. Ramen will uh, use the full length of my couch. He will use the back of the couch. He will use the, the armrests. He'll use like every inch of the couch. He will sometimes just lay on the floor. He does not care. He does not care. As long as like if there's like a good sunbeam, that's all he needs. He's he's a pretty simple cat. He's a pretty simple creature. A cat can take up two spots in a double bed. That's true. He does not sleep. <clears throat> Jeez, voice. He does not sleep in bed with me though. I wouldn't mind a, a cat snuggle. My old cat. I had another cat um, that passed away, but he used to crawl under the blankets and he would snuggle with me when it was cold out. It was great. <coughs> My throat is trying to implode right now and I have no idea why. She'll headbutt my face. Cats are so aggressive creatures. They're so... What's going on with my mouth? They're so aggressive. Give me a second. I'm going to check something. It is working. Yeah, okay. My cats never snuggle. They would sit above doors and attack when you walk through vicious. <laughs> vicious. Headbutt mentally like you. Yeah, Ramen will give me a headbutt every now and then. But he, he definitely wants to snuggle. Like, he wants to lamb me and snuggle. He's a lab cat. Multiple times I've woken up with a face full of cat. You know, some men wouldn't be upset about that. I'm just saying. My mom can't really figure out why brutal. Brutal. But yeah, no, I'm lucky Ramen is like, uh, he's, he's a mutant, but he's a very healthy mutant. So I don't have to worry about him too much. Other animals I've had have not been quite so like healthy, which is weird, but they say that like, um, not strays, um, mutts are like the healthiest breed because they have like all the mix of the, the good mixes of other breeds. They tend to not get the bad mixes. So, like, if you want, like, an animal that's, like, healthy and you don't have to worry too much about vet bills, like, you want to get a mutt. You don't want to get a pure breed. Pure breed? Pure bread? Hybrid vigor. Pure breed just means inbred. Pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Found a straight kitten once. He got slapped by my mom when he headbutted her when she napped. Oh, no. That's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad for kitty. But yeah, so if you ever if you're ever like shopping for an animal or looking to adopt, um, look for look for the although you know it wouldn't surprise me if Ramen was like very closely inbred, it would explain a lot. Um, but yeah, look for look for mutts. On top of that, like they're cheaper, right? Like purebreds tend to be a lot of money, for like no reason other than being inbred. <laughs> so like if you get a mutt, not only are they cheaper like to purchase but they're cheap in the long run because they tend to be healthier right throws fists when you wake her up mom comes out swinging <laughs> get the fattest most silly one i would love to have another cat i don't think i can have another cat right now i don't think ramen can handle another cat i would like to have another cat though i think ramen's in his old man stage he just wants quiet <laughs> Which leads to a lot of mixed bred cats. There's a lady that lives near me and she catches cats and then like takes them in to get them fixed and then releases them. What is going on with my mouth? What is going on? The crap is happening. It's bothering me. It's bothering me a lot. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, now it's peeking. Now you guys can hear me peeking at you. Stupid mic. 
My mom's neighborhood, they actually have a gang of people who do that. Yeah, it's a good thing too because cats are actually extremely destructive for the environment. Like it's not, it's not good <laughs> to have wild cats coming around. The screen it looks like you smeared Vaseline on the lens. No, I think you might just need to put your contacts in, bud. It's okay. It's okay. I don't. I. I forgive you. Maybe clean your glasses. Do you like the church style music though? It's like music to what is it called? Music to cry to. I don't know. I'm half blind. Most like see see yeah. Maybe if you got the Vaseline out of your eyes, you could see better. <laughs> Watching the stream with my distance vision glasses. Brutal. I thought leaving a bunch of little predators in their own devices would be bad. I know. And they breed like rabbits, right? Fix your animals. Get your animals fixed ASAP when they're old enough. Get them fixed. <laughs> You don't need, we don't need more cats and dogs. We really don't. Just get your animal fixed. They live longer. They have better, happier lives when they don't have their, their jiggly bits attached. It's a simple procedure 99% of the time. There's a house cat that extincted a race of birds. There's a lot of birds that have gone like into, I don't know if I want to say endangered because I don't know for sure, but there's a lot of, at least in certain areas, there's a lot of birds that are, are extinct from areas. Because of cats. Like cats are good. That's the problem is like cats can take out mice, right? Because mice breed faster than cats. But um, they always go after the birds. Tibbles the cat and her kittens ate all the Stephen's Island wrens. Yeah. You know, one cat killed a whole species. That's impressive. Cats are leading cause of bird extinction. Yeah. So get your cats fixed. There's no reason not to. A lot of places will do it for cheap, too, if you talk to them. Like, when I got ramen fixed, I was like, bro, I don't have a job. And I got a cat. I know. Good good thinking, right? Like, good good thoughts. Good thoughts. No job. Get cat. That's the plan, right? Um, But I was like, so, like, I want to get him fixed. And they're like, oh, no, we got you. We got you. We got, like, these little coupons here. We'll get you a little coupon. $25 doll hairs. Remove your cat's jiggly bits. I was like, heck, yeah. Let's go. Jiggly bit removal time. Where's my balls, boss? What? <laughs> this might be too much info, but like, <laughs> poor Robin. They didn't just like take this <laughs> VTuber moment. They didn't just take the sack off. They like took the balls out of the sack and then like left the sack. <laughs> but then it swelled. So we had this like, <laughs> it looked like two swollen like empty water balloons. It was really sad. <laughs> And he did like a little waddle walk. But I am become Elvis. Ah, I see. Yeah, they emptied the jewel bin. So then he did a little waddle walk until the swelling went down. But yeah, now he's got two little shriveled up furry races. <laughs> it's so gross. What's this in bleach? This is perfect timing. We're talking about Ramen's ball sack. <laughs> Where's my balls? Did you get him some marbles? No, I did not. That's so gross. <laughs> I did not. No, he's fine now. They've shriveled up. They've become small. Now we just have to worry about his inverted nipples. I choose the best time to start watching. Because he's old and he's getting a little up there in the weight department. He's not like overweight, but he's getting up there. His, uh, his nipples have inverted. <laughs> So then, so like when you, you know, when you like sweat and you get your basic like uh, skin oils and stuff, it builds up in there. So then you got to like clean it out with like a wet wipe. <laughs> Kitten chalky a little bit. It's hard. I'm not sure because he doesn't get fed a lot. Like I, I feed him like to a strict diet, right? Like, you know, like a, like what says on the bag. And like he so he and he doesn't really get to free feed, so I don't know why he's chonky. Um he doesn't move much, so that makes sense, but I don't wanna like I I don't really wanna reduce his food more because I feel like he doesn't 
I don't know. Like, I feel like he wouldn't get enough then. It's floor chips. It's true. Um, that being said, I have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to run an ad while I go to the bathroom. And then we won't need to worry about them for a while. So I will be back. You guys just hold tight. And yeah, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Hello. Well, he only gets one 20 pound bag of meow mix a day. Yes. Hello. I've returned. <clears throat> we'll wait 26 more seconds. I will bang swish. Da 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 da. Yeah, I don't know. It's been it's a weird day. It's like it's I it's like rainy out. So like I'm just and I'm like tired too. I don't know why every time it's rainy I'm just like super tired. Welcome back, ad people. Thank you guys for sitting through the ads. It really does um help the stream. And if we do three minutes of ads, then I don't have to have pre rolls for an hour. And in my personal opinion, pre rolls are worse than like in stream ads. So. I know three minutes is a lot, and I and I appreciate it. You guys sitting through them. <laughs> Cozy in the rain. I wish I could. I have to go. I have to work after this. So. It's going to rain so hard, Mother Nature will piss her pantsuit. Damn. I have one complaint as a cat owner, and that is the BS prices of cat towers. It's true. What is this? No, get out of here with that. I don't know who that lad is, but I don't want to hear him singing. I hope it keeps the fire danger down. Are we really worried about fire danger already? <laughs> it's April! I do not want to choke on Canada once again. That was very unpleasant. I dislike choking on Canada. <laughs> that was the cringe song from Days Gone. Oh, well, good. I'm glad it's gone now. Probably had four fires here, really? 
We're still kind of in a drought. Serene is good. Yeah. It's been, I don't know. It's been feeling wet to me. <laughs> like, outside? <laughs> Two weeks ago, and now we have mosquitoes. I, yeah, we get mosquitoes here a lot. But I prefer, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose between mosquitoes. If I had to choose between mosquitoes and, like, wildfire smoke, I would choose the mosquitoes. Because <laughs> at least I can put on bug spray to keep the mosquitoes away. I can't keep the smoke from my lungs. I wonder if maybe, like, the damage, I don't know, like, okay, thought process, right? Like, all the smoke damaged my sinuses so much, and that's why I got sick so much over the winter. Except for maybe I got sick so much over the winters because no one wanted to prescribe me antibiotics. Maybe that was it. God damn it. I hate doctors. I hate insurance. I hate the medical system. I hate it all. I'm so angry about it. I have so much rage at the machine. I'm just so like... Like, I know it's a job for people, but like, I don't understand how a doctor can like go and like do that and still like be a doctor you know what I mean like like you're like oh I went to school to be a doctor to help people and now I'm like telling people no I can't help them because insurance like I would just be so incredibly upset about that like as a doctor you know what I mean but like at the same time like you can't go anywhere else every place functions like that unless you work for like a free clinic and they have their own set of rules it was Nurgle it was painting Nurgle Doctors say do no harm, but they still don't give out pain pills. Well, I think part of that's because they gave out too many pain pills, which honestly is the same reason why they're stingy with the antibiotics. But I think if people just use their brains, maybe, perhaps, we sat down and thought for a minute instead of rushing through 19 patients. Papa Nurgle does send his blessings generously. I wish he would chill a little bit. Just for a little bit, man. Go attack Slanesh or something for a while, right? <laughs> Just go go attack someone else for like a couple months, okay? Just for a little bit. <laughs> Give me a break. Now we have Nurgle Rot. It's true. I'm not saying I need pills of the morphine files. <laughs> oh my god. It's true. We do have Nurgle Rot. I don't know if Nurgle Rot's ever going to go away, though. That's, right, like, that's the scary thing. It's not like, oh, we just won't prescribe antibiotics for a while and things will chill out. Like, that's not how that works. Which is scary. <laughs> like, that's really, it, I don't know, it's a little freaky for me. Of all the Chaos Gods, Nurgle, Nurgle actually likes people <laughs> worse luck. He is so friendly. He just wants to share his gifts. Grandpa Nurgle. And his friend, uh, Cor Corgon? Is it Corgon? Norgon? Corgath? Cor Norgath? Nordstrom Wireless? Corgath. <laughs> I get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Kugath! Kugath! That's what it was. <laughs> Kugath. Back in the day, you get the clap, you get a pill. Now you get a clap, you die. Just trying. I'm trying my best. I'm learning about the chaos gods, slowly but surely. Mostly Nurgle. I think if I ever played um, Warhammer, like the the game... Not like the game, but like um the 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 beep boop electronic what the hell oh my god my brain is not working. Um War Oh my god, my brain has shut down. I take the space squid? Total war! Jesus, yes, I would play I would play Nurgle. 
They have frogs, and I'm a fan of that. What's a space squid? Is that is that sneeze 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 <laughs> sneeze sneeze? The frogs do not suck. Leave my frogs alone. Sneech. <laughs> I'm just calling it Sneech from now on. <laughs> it's easier to say. I would get beat up at a Warhammer meetup. Like, I would literally get beat up and kicked out. Good try, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Apparently the Tau greater good is becoming a god because of the belief of their human allies' belief in it. That's very orky, though, isn't it? The Tau greater good god is a lore break so hard, I cried. That's a sentence. The greater good god. That doesn't sound cool at all. Is he blue? The warp makes belief real. The warp is 40... No. Wait, is warp in fantasy? Joey's getting the wind I had yesterday. Ah, oh, breaks over. Have fun, everyone. Okay, I'm trying my best. My brain is not is not functioning on all levels, though. <laughs> yes, the warp is in fantasy. Oh, my God. This stuff's so confusing. I was talking. We were talking. Um, we were doing the, the world building stuff yesterday. It's just not usually referred to as the warp. Oh, okay. There's like six Tau guys, and they create a god out of the belief in a dumb concept that's... <laughs> The winds of magic. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, we were talking about, uh, for those who weren't there last night, we were doing the world building stuff. And I was talking about how I found this picture. And that was like where I originally pulled the inspiration <laughs> for like socketing the gems in people's bodies and then having like a cool suit over the top of it. And I found this picture and I pulled it up and it was a uh, like a concept drawing of a space marine. But when I had found the picture, the space marine armor was like cut off of it. It was like cropped out. Um, so, <laughs> so it was cropped out. So I didn't know it was a space marine concept thing. So apparently all of my canaries are technically space marines. Technically 40k and Age of Sigmar are kind of in the same multiverse and they kind of share the warp. Age of Sigmar is not real. Sigmar balls. <laughs> Sigmar balls. Better to be cropped out than cropped on, I always say. So, yeah, it was, and then, I, yeah, they were talking about it, and then I found the picture, and I was like, ah, yes, space marine. Everything always comes back to 40k. That's the problem. Better to piss in the sink than in the sink in the piss. You know what, Joey? That's very true, actually. But yeah, so the magic system for the for the the world building stuff, we gotta find a better name for it, I think. Maybe that's the issue. The world building sounds boring, question mark. Would your armor be considered a crop top? Uh, uh I'd call it a breastplate, but I can see why. It could be considered that. World building does not sound boring. It doesn't. Okay, but like, okay, instead of like thinking about it as like a person that reads books, think about it as like a feral VTuber fan, right? Does it sound boring now? Right? That's the thought process. <laughs> It doesn't necessarily sound boring. What do you think as an alternative? I have nothing as an alternative. That's the thing. Like, because I was... So, like, originally I was going to be, like, Elysium Skiff. Or, like, what... You know, like, the name of the comic. Um, And I didn't know if people would avoid it because they had no idea what that is. Or if people would click on it because they're interested in learning what that is. Just puss porn in your announcements. It's true. It's true. I got started doing the girlfriend experience. Can you pronounce Tupac? Yes, it's Tupac. Or my favorite, Tupac. 
Yeah, you said it right. <laughs> Two packs of cigs. <laughs> Comics with obscure names still sell well. Apple seed has nothing to do with apples, for instance. It, there's, I never read apple seed because of that, though. <laughs> I, I literally went this. I, this sounds stupid. I don't understand why it's called apple seed, but there's robots. I'm not reading this. Jeffy is not being interested in your fantasy lore, <laughs> or is there? Where is the soup at the brothel? I was playing in a D&D &D campaign once and our barbarian went into a brothel simply to ask for a sandwich and he came back out with a sandwich and did not sandwich anything else. Hello, Tuna. I'm calling you Tuna from now on because I like that better. <laughs> I've decided it. I always like obscure titles that make no sense in the story. Why are you buying clothes at the soup brothel? <laughs> Poop store open! <laughs> The poop store is closed. Damn. You are now a fish. You can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. Ha 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 the Raven, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Oh, we do not need to call that broth. That's, that's unfortunate. Can I play the bass? Yes. This is going downhill so fast. I know, I'm, try I'm trying to remain professional. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Cabal. Hello. So maybe call them Grimdark Fantasy Lore Stream. It seems very uh, long, though. Right? I don't know. I'm just trying to make them not boring. What about Gem Dark? <gasps> Whoa, that's cool as fuck, actually. That sounds way better than our. I'm we're making a new genre, guys. We're making a new fucking genre. It's happening. When people are like, what is the setting? I'm gonna be like, it's Gem Dark. And they're gonna go, what the fuck? And then they're gonna Google it and then realize there's nothing there. Tulips on your organ. <laughs> I get it. Gem Dark magic exists and it comes from rocks. Hello, <laughs> hello, Robo. Hola. The genre. No, 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 we. No, no, no new metal. Ugh. Could phrase it as gem gloom and have the shorthand be GG. <laughs> it has tones of Dickens, England, kind of. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. That's the problem. It's like, it's a mix of a lot of things. So people are like, what's the genre? And I'm like, I don't really know because it's a lot. And they're like, well, what's the time frame? And I'm like, I don't really know because there's different ones. And they're like, okay, well, what's the, you know, what's the, what's the, you know, the magic? And I'm like, well, yeah, I don't really know because it's a lot. <laughs> I know. I'm sure I like some new metal bands. I just don't like the term new metal. They yearn for the mines. What do you know? I know that's I know what I know and that's all I know. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Static X was a new metal band of choice. See, I didn't like Static X. I think the world building streams can focus on singular topics to have greater things. Maybe tell stories. I don't know. There was a yeah, I wanna like. They're definitely a work in progress. Like, um, they're probably, I'm, I'm trying to make them a little bit more, what's the word? Not, like, yeah, focused, I guess. Um, but I'm trying to make them more interactive, too, without just, like, spamming ideas. Waiting for the one-shot set in Elysium's GIF. I do like the collaborative stuff. I do, too. I really do. So, like, I'm, I don't want to get rid of that part. That's, like, my favorite part about it. I'm just trying to make it. Um, more fun for everyone and then like make it make sense right because we can only like when we did like the 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 joke to mech one we were making the toasters and stuff like I can only do so much in one stream right but then there were a lot of good ideas thrown out there 
So it's, yeah, there's, I think it's just new, so it's kind of a broken practice. Yeah, it's definitely, like, growing pains. But, like, it's also, like, a series I want to keep doing and kind of, like, be a regular thing that I'm kind of known for, if that makes, like, that's what I kind of want my niche to be. But it's not, like, cranked down to the point where, like, it's a well-oiled machine. You could call them lore brainstorming. Yeah. Sorry, V, but I'm learning from your mistakes. So fucking rude. You're only here because you're stealing my ideas. You're like, I'm like your business mentor. And then you go and you start a Fortune 500 company. And you buy out all my buildings and build a Walmart. Thank you. Thank you, Commissar. It's over here. It's here. Oh, nope. It's not here, apparently. Well, that's all right. It's not there. Oh, that's because I don't have the thing set up. <laughs> Feb. I haven't changed my calendar <laughs> since February. It's all right. You guys saw a little sneak peek of uh, stuff that's coming down the pipeline, though. <laughs> Let's see. Now there's stuff I saw. Waiting for one shot at least seems good. So there's been talks of at some point turning it into like a setting for a tabletop type situation and like doing says I'm stealing takes gem dark. <laughs> it's mutual thievery. Um, what was I saying now? Oh, turning into like a tabletop with like a monster manual type thing. Um, yes, tell your story first, gameplay later. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's, and that's something that's kind of out of my wheelhouse. So I think for something like that, I would kind of need, like, a team of people willing to help with it sort of deal. I don't think that's a project I could do completely on my own. Like, I would need several people's help with that, because I don't know... I don't, I mean, I don't know how to set up that kind of stuff. I've DM'd like twice, you know what I mean? So, or, you know, and I don't know a lot about other tabletop systems and things like that or like what would fit best or, or any of that. But like, it, that's something that's like on the brain, right? It's, it's in my mind. It's a possibility. Call it the poop pipe. Down the poop pipe. Is that what I'm going to be known for? The poop pipe? Poor Robo. He's got, everyone's like, poop pipe, but Robo's just hiding in the corner. He probably closed Twitch by now. But, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Peep that poop pipe. You'll be known for chickens. I'm okay with that. The poop pipe video was so funny. <laughs> I should just post that up on my YouTube channel. Ugh. Watch it goes viral. That would be my look. That's the one that goes viral. That's how that shit works, though. Literally. That's how that poop pipe works. Uh, oh, my back just popped. But yeah, so that's 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 kind of the plan. So do the VTuber poop pipe. It's true. So like, right, like big, big plan. Oh, my God, I keep burping. <laughs> It's all shit down there. It's true. Um, so we're doing like the collaborative stuff now. Eventually there will be a wiki. Um, which is going to take a while. And then there's like the comic. I have the entire outline of the comic written. So like the story is pretty much locked in. Right? Um, you know, I, like I have to fiddle with it and get a little bit more detail. And then, you know, I have to write the script. And then it's a horrible part of drawing. <laughs> Although I'm slowly working on a plan. I'm slowly working on a plan because, like, I'm doing Fubi's comic, which is nice because I can uh, flail around and falter and, and kind of cry on that one. And then next time I can be good. <laughs> I can be good. Um, so we'll probably at some point... Be doing a lot more like uh, drawing character references and doing things like turns and stuff. And then I'm going to start doing more ticks, 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 tricks, tips and tricks 
of like drawing comics um and it's going to be from like kind of like a tech standpoint so for example there was a reel that someone shared with me and this person has characters that hold like complicated looking swords so instead of like having the sword drawn every single time they just drew the sword like in three or four different angles and then they copy and paste it into the the art so like we'll probably be doing stuff like that you know and getting like my own kind of assets built up and created um, and I'll be doing that for the Fubi comic, too. So that might get to, if if I ever decide to get into, like, tutorials, I think it would be those sorts of things. Um, instead of, like, how to draw a head, because, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, there's a million of those out there already. When will Fubi comic issue one be done if you know? I don't know. Um, it's issue one. Um, if you are in Fubi's Discord, she did lay it out, um, I think what she said was the size is about 180 pages total, if I remember correctly. Um, and I have chapter 1.1 completely storyboarded and partially drawn, um, and I think she's got most of it scripted now, if I remember correctly. So it's, it's, this is going to be a, a long term process because we were both freaking out that we like needed to get it done now, needed to get it done now, needed to get it done now. And then I'm like, we're kind of just sitting down and we're like, even if we like committed like our full time to this project, it would still take a very long time to get it out just because the project is so huge and neither of us can commit our full time because we both got jobs, you know. Um, my Discord is here. Um, I don't have a link for, I'm crying. I don't have a link for Phoebe's Discord, to be honest with you. Um, but that's mine. Eventually, you can, you can find your way. Yeah, it's very big. It's, it's, it's like a manga volume status size. But yes, feel free to join my Discord. Um, so it's it's going to be a big project and we're just... And then, you know, there's talk about... Yeah, it is almost a whole book. Whole ass book. Um, so, and then trying to get like mine done because mine is going to be even bigger. Did you want a link to Fubble's Discord? Um, let's not, because I don't know what her plan is with that right now. If someone wants to seek it out, they can, but let's... It's nothing with you, Shuggle. It's just, her, she's got some stuff going on. Um, yeah, so mine's gonna be bigger than that, because mine's like, I have like three seasons planned. You know how like webtoons have seasons? Um, mine's gonna be in a webtoon format. Hers is more in like a manga format. Um, so yeah, but here with a mine is even bigger. I know. Well, like I was telling Fubi, I was like, Fubi, I get out of here, singer man. Um, <laughs> I was like telling Fubi about it, and she goes, Jesus, she's like, you're nuts. Maybe pull it back, and I was like, no. And she's like, you're gonna die. I'm like peeking left and right now. Oh, let's bring that down a little bit. But yeah, so um, for those supporting the comic and for on Fubi's end and stuff, um, thank you for your patience. We're both very much learning a lot about it. Um, I will say it is always on our minds, and we're talking about it constantly. So it's definitely not something that got like shoved to the side. Uh, I think we're just working on trying to manage everything along with everything going on with like life and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's moving. It's just moving slowly. But at the end of the day, there's only two of us. Um, you know, and when when manga ka and, and webtoon artists and stuff, they're pumping things out quickly. They have they have several people on their team helping and we don't have that. So it's just gotta be a matter of us uh trucking along when we can. You know what I mean? We're doing our best, I promise. We talk about it constantly. 
<laughs> so it did not get for Gord. But yeah, then we're going to start my comic. I think at one point, once I start getting um, comfortable with foobies and we're, we're actually like making pages come out and stuff like that, then I'll start working on mine. Um, I would like to do like the, does anyone like co-working streams? That was my other plan was to do more of like co-working streams. If I ever get a chance to like stream for like a good chunk of time, not just like an hour or two, but like four or five hours. If I ever get that chance, I want to do like co-working streams where like I'll stream, but then like we do that thing where like we work for, you know, like 45 minutes and then take like a 15 minute break, work for 45 minutes, take a 15 minute break sort of thing. So like I would like write the comic for 45 minutes and then we'd like take a break and you know we can like talk or you know about like what we're working on or whatever and then we'd like work for another 45 minutes that sort of thing I'm trying to figure out how to do that as like a VTuber because I know like the people that do do those and are successful are in real life streamers and they kind of have like a camera on them at like an angle and stuff and I can't necessarily do that in an immersive way because like I don't want to do a stream where it's just me like sitting here like this For like 45 minutes. You know what I mean? Like that's not super. <laughs> that's not super exciting. Granted like you're not really supposed to be staring at the, the co. You know. You're supposed to be working on your own stuff. Because it's co-working. Oh that was only like six seconds. I know. Um, But yeah. So I'm still, I'm still thinking about how to make that more immersive. But we'll figure something out. I need a 3D model. That's what I need. Then I can have a bedroom. I can work in an office. Do we need to bring snacks for 15 minute break or will they be provided? You do need to bring your own snack. I cannot provide snack. Wait, I can work on stuff while watching streams? Yeah, isn't that neat? I actually personally use co-working streams a lot. Um, I, and I think part of it has to do with body doubling for those who have like ADHD. Um, and body doubling helps you focus. It kind of works like that where you kind of have like a fake body double and you're working with somebody so it makes you able to focus, which seems like the silliest thing ever. And I know a lot of people think co-working streams are really stupid, but it works so well to help me get stuff done. So like I would like to do that too because when I just like hear and like in my head, like I'm just so like scatterbrained. So... Yeah, so, like, I would want something a little bit more, like, immersive where, like, I'm sitting at, like, a desk or something. I don't know. I need a better 3D model. I'm tempted to just commission one. <laughs> but I don't have any money! I'm working right now. This is my co-working stream. Though someone keeps saying crazy things, I had to shut my office door so accounting doesn't hear. <laughs> poop pie, poop pie, poop pie, poop pie! Accounting be like, oh, he got overtime. He's not supposed to have. Oh. Desk with feet propped up like Valentine's Day. You just want to see my tootsies again, don't you? You just want the toes. Buddha just want the toes. Someone's going to walk into poop pipe. They're going to be like, Dev, do you have that? Oh, my God. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Ah, my back popped again. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what the future looks like. And then I have to figure out how to get you guys the comic, like my comic. Fubi and I are talking about Fubi's comic, but my comic, because um, it's, it's, I can't use webtoons. I mean, I can use webtoons, but webtoons sketchy AF. And I don't really want to put my work on Webtoons because Webtoons is very good at changing their contracts at the last second and then being like, if your Webtoons up here, you agree. So you agree, which means it's mine now. Like they've been taking people's stuff left and right. So I don't want to put it on Webtoons, which sucks because it would be nice to have it. Um, It would be nice to have it on something that's like public like that. So that like just by having it on a big comic platform, it would get traffic that way. But, um, yeah. 
but I, I don't want Webtoon to seal it because they have been doing that to people. But I also want to make it like available for free. I don't want to have a paywall for the actual comic. So I don't know. Coffee has like a Webtoon setting in their galleries, but I think getting people to coffee has kind of been a sticking point for stuff. You know what I mean? Post on fucking Newgrounds or something. I, you know what, maybe. <laughs> That's not a terrible idea. Everybody go to Newgrounds. I haven't looked at Newgrounds in like decades. Oh my God. <laughs> well, cause wasn't it, um, um, Meriwether? Wasn't Meriwether the one that like uploaded his own comics to that like manga scan site so that people would see them? What's the, I don't know what a GeoCity site is. I've never heard of that. Well, and then there was like my thought of like, you know, if I have the wiki, I could like upload it onto like a subsection of that website into like its own thing. But again, it would be really nice to have it on a website that has its own traffic so that people could read it, like get exposure to it, like on its own, if that makes sense. Now V made me, yeah, I have no idea what GeoCities is. I've never even heard of that. Is it like Skibidi D Toilet? YouTube comic dubs? Oh, man. No, I don't think I could. I don't think I could do that just because, like, if the voices don't match my characters, it would just destroy me on the inside. <laughs> like, I would have to, like, I would have to audition people to do the voices to make me feel happy about it. And at that point, I feel like I would have to pay people. And I don't have money to pay people for that. GeoCities is a private website hosting domain. Oh, oh, so it's just like uh, GoDaddy. Yeah? BBS systems. It was before Yahoo? Dang. Dang, Buddha's 100,000 years old. He old AF. For real, for real, no cap. Well, we can just do unlicensed comic dubs to crush your hopes for you. Yes, make Robo do all the girl voices. <laughs> just kill me, please. On the inside, just destroy me. <laughs> yeah, no, I get, like, right? Because, like, I'm like, I'm going to make this comic. Well, it's going to be so good. Like, oh, my God, what if it got an anime? I'm, like, picturing all these seeds in my head that would look so cool if it was in an anime, and then I need to pull myself back. Careful, V, they're crazy enough to do it. I would die. British accent. So, like, the, um, I can do the voice that sounds like a robot Richard Attenborough. <laughs> That's really specific. I, uh, I... I've kind of been basing naming conventions off of Spanish names and Irish names. So there's your there's your accents. But like because apparently um like Irish people that have like the black hair and the light colored eyes are they have um some people call them the black Irish and I don't think that's offensive, but I'm not sure. So if it is, I'm sorry. Uh but Basically, what happened was when Spain invaded Ireland, and this is why it might be offensive. Um, <laughs> when Spain invaded Ireland, they they took what they wanted and left a bunch of people behind that weren't originally there. The Black Irish. So that's kind of where I'm going off of, like, a very, very basic level of, like, what people look like and, and stuff like that. So. I'm ginger Irish with my ancestry. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. I know, right? <laughs> no one ever expects it. It's just incoming Spanish. They go, ole! And they take what they want. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud, Joey. I'm not saying it. I refuse. But yeah, I don't know. 
So, yeah, because I think, I think, because there's like Tapa's web comics too, but you have to pay to view the comics, and a lot of that's lewd stuff. <laughs> But having it on a comics hosting site would be nice uh, to have that. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's That's so far in the future, though. I really don't need to be worrying about it right now. I just need to worry, worry about webcomic layout, I suppose. Yeah, top is just mostly lewds. I have Monta Comics, which is also mostly lewds. Get out of here. Oh, he can't even sing. That guy's awful. That's a terrible singing voice. Um, I have Manta too, but I only have Manta for uh, Under the Oak Tree, which is sort of a lewd manga comic. It's not super, like, that's not, like, the sole focus, but it is, it is there. <laughs> but a lot of the other comics on Manta are lewd. Are you telling me there won't be lewd fantasy romance in this gritty grim? There's romance, but it's not like sex. Uh-huh, right. Look, I'll be honest. I tried to read the one with the totem pole, and I don't... Oh, wow, that, that guy's looking a foot. Um, <laughs> there's one with, like, I can't remember it's called totem something, and that one was very lewd. Um, And it just, like, it's just everything became focused around sex. And, like, I realized, like, every part of the story was just set up so there could be more segs, and I kind of lost interest in it. You know what I mean? Like, it was just, like, thank goodness it's canceled. Like, I like my segs with plot, right? It can't just be the plot for the sake of segs. I need, I need more than that. <laughs> But keep romance. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like romance a lot. Uh, to some people's detriment in D&D &D campaigns. <laughs> but I do like it. So there will be romance. There will be complicated relationships. There will be cutesy stuff. But a lot of it's going to be going to be grimdark, I guess. Yeah. Do you guys look at me and, and see grim... Oop. Do you guys look at me and see grimdark? Do I look grimdark to you? Plot twist where the big booty lady hid a stone in the poop pipe. Buddha, are you okay? Are you all right? Gem dark. Yes, gem dark, not grim dark. You're right, gem dark. Hold on. Someone needs to fall in love with Deborah. Oh, plot twist since Bleach is gone, I think. My my phone holder keeps collapsing. What is going on here? You don't look grim dark. Thank you. Um Right, Jeff, Bleach's Jeffrey, falls in love with Deborah, and they get married and have Deborah babies. Wait, Deborah's a man. It's fine. It's magic. <laughs> Jeff and and Deborah become a couple. That's canon. It's plot now. It's my story. I can do what I want with it. Sex is back. It's back on the menu, boys. We're so back. <laughs> They have many Deborah babies. <laughs> Isn't Deborah an office lady? Deborah is a giant snake man. With arms. Half snakes. Big snake. Big snake hour. Um, but on that note, that is a note I'm gonna leave you guys on is snake segs because my iPhone is about to die. And my phone holder keeps collapsing. Debra does have arms. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, um, tomorrow? Oh my god, it's tomorrow. This week is moving, like, weirdly fast. For I don't know. It's plugged in, so I don't know why it's not charging. I never took it off the charger. I don't know how I'm losing battery. Um, but tomorrow is... Hold on, let me get my own schedule up. Is we're doing content warning with Dev and Pickle. So, iPhone is garbage. That's why I need an iPhone, though. It has to be an iPhone. Tomorrow's Friday. No, tomorrow's Thursday, Buddha. Dead cable. Maybe. That could be. 
Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yes! You're streaming tomorrow. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're streaming. But yeah, I'll be playing uh, Content Warning with Devin Pickle. I haven't played it yet. Uh, Pickle has. I'm really excited about it. Um, hopefully it's fun. And maybe we can get some more ideas for recording stuff. Welcome, yeah. Welcome to the streamer life. You gotta stream. My protege right here. My legacy. <laughs> He's already trying to surpass me and stealing my ideas. Gemdark, guys, by the way, was my idea and no one else's. I created that with my own brain. Definitely was not devs. So don't even think about it. <laughs> Today is Thursday for me. It does Squidward future emote. Future! My skin crawled for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been around longer than you. All right. So, yes, um, we'll wrap up. I'm not going to raid today just because I want to just, I have to wrap up and go. I can't, like, hang out and talk to people after raid. But tomorrow we'll probably raid. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming and listening to me ramble. Bye-bye. <laughs>